Rituals are also very important because rituals create people to mold together. More people that do the same ritual come together stronger and stronger and they, and they form a unity. At the moment we have the non-face mask wearers and the face mask wearers. The non-face mask wearers want to have unity with people not wearing face masks. The face mask wearers, the people that believe in what's going on, um, will find unity together. So you're seeing sometimes non-face mask wearers may, uh, you're seeing sometimes face mask wearers may non-face mask wearers in the park or shout at people that aren't wearing face masks because their ideology, their new religion, their symbolism of the mask, their ritual that they go through, they're starting to identify themselves as part of this thought belief system which believes in the coronavirus and the other people that have an ulterior ideology which is opposed to it and you can start to see both clashing at the moment but ritual is very important because most people believe in coronavirus so putting on the mask is actually pulling everyone together to reaffirm the same ideas and beliefs you've got to understand that if people have different ideas and beliefs you don't know it until you speak to them but if you're made to wear something for instance like the jews in the second world war or a cross um, or a muslim uh, logo or uh, a Jewish uh, logo, not a logo, I'm sorry, a, a symbol, uh, the Star of David, you're telling people that you belong to this ideology. I'm a Jew, I believe this ideology. I'm a Christian, I believe this ideology. And wearing the mask, you're saying, I'm someone that believes in the idea that the coronavirus is around and very, very dangerous and we should all wear these masks for safety and keep social distancing and have these rules. Because remember, with religions, you've got rules and with the coronavirus, you also have rules. Which means that coronavirus is quite like a religion. It's, it's ritualistic. So the, the introduction of these symbols reaffirms to yourself and other people and solidifies those ideologies making that ideology stronger usually when you have a ritual you need something to sacrifice well we've already got a lot of sacrifice which is going on at the moment a lot of people have lost their jobs there's a lot of terrible uh, depression there's like uh, there's depressions which are coming uh, monetary losses which are happening to people uh, they're going into debt so we can see these terrible um, pains and sufferings which are happening with this covid or the c the c ritual but uh, you know like the christians always like to say yeah but you know for it to be satanic we need to get the, the animals out a lot of animals are dying at the moment actually um people um there's a lot of chickens and they come to their cycle and they need to be killed and there's people which are not buying them um, there's a lot of milk which is being uh, thrown away um, cattle are being depopulated um, and slaughter slaughters being done in the name of COVID so if you want to think that COVID is a religion then you do have your sacrifice within the religion as well within religions you've got the rituals so in the Abrahamic and uh, most I think other ones Hindu and Buddhist you've got the washing of the hands in the COVID ritual you need to wash your hands but you do it not in water, you do it in sanitizer, you do it in alcohol. Now alcohol and water are two completely different things. Water allows things to grow, it allows um, life to happen. Alcohol kills things. So you're washing your hands with a killing agent, not with an agent like water which creates life. So you can see the inversion which is going on there. You can also see, um, the initiation of baptism so um, when you baptize somebody you wash them with water now we wash the entire body with alcohol the other thing about washing as well is that you clean you get you get rid of stuff um, it flows away from you I wash my hands of this person it flows away when you wash with sanitizer the bugs or the virus still stay on your hands you're not washing you're keeping on your hands, but killing. So in other words, if you want to really push the boat out, you're carrying death on your hands, but death in sort of germ, germ way, not in animal way and stuff like that.